welcome to the fourth lecture uh, so far we discussed mosfet based current mirror and the uh, uh, circuit which we looked at uh, something like this vdd uh, we have so this was the current which we are looking and the reference current is uh, generated at this point so when you look at any current source uh, the one important parameter of a current source is uh, output resistance and the output resistance of any current source should be uh, very high ideally it is infinity practically it should be very high and other thing with respect to uh, uh, this current source here is i can write i not as uh, if this is Q2 and this is Q1, I can write I0 as um, I ref into W by L of 2 by W by L of 1. Or here, this I0 by I ref is known as current transfer ratio. So, as far as the current value is concerned, uh, we are uh, looking at the accuracy of this current transfer ratio also accuracy of this current transfer ratio so these two things we'll uh, discuss later uh, and we'll see methods to improve the output resistance as well as the accuracy of current transfer ratio so in this lecture we'll uh, specifically look at the bjt counterparts of this current mirror so before that uh, instead of using a resistor here to uh, get the reference even i can Mm, use the simple here so that this is my uh, reference current i ref right so in today's class we will see the bjt counterpart so uh, when you look at bjt based current mirror uh, there are uh, mainly two important difference the first difference uh, yeah bjt current mirror circuits so compared to uh, MOSFET current mirror circuits, if I look at BJT current mirror circuit, there are two differences. One is uh, non-zero base current of BJT. Non-zero base current of BJT. Or I can say it is nothing but the finite beta of the BJT. So if I look at MOSFET, the base current, the gate current is zero, but here the base current is not, it is a non-zero base current is there. And uh, this will basically, uh, this leads some uh, error. I can say uh, this will create some error in uh, actually the current transfer ratio. We'll see what is that. So that is the first thing with respect to uh, BJT. And the second thing is, in the case of MOSFET, the current transfer ratio is basically decided by the uh, aspect ratio of the MOSFETs, right? But in the case of BJT, this uh, ratio the current transfer ratio uh, that is basically decided by it is decided by uh, the relative areas of emitter base junctions relative areas of emitter base junctions of uh, transistors so <clears throat> Before going to BJT based current mirror, we are observing these two differences. One is the non zero base current or the finite beta, and the second thing is <coughs> second thing is uh, the current transfer ratio depends on the relative areas of emitter base junction of transistors. So we will start with the basic circuit on BJT. So as we did in uh, MOSFET we are shorting the collector and base and here is a second transistor <clears throat> and this is the point so this is uh, your reference current and this is connected to VDD transistors Q1 and Q2 and this node can be connected to some point uh, where I need uh, this particular bias current, I am calling it as I0, and this can be the output voltage wherever if I am connecting. So, yeah, not confusing. So, this is I0. 
and if the emitter base junction uh, area of q2 is same as that of q1 if the emitter base junction area of q2 and q1, q1 both are same i can write i0 is equal to i ref i can write i0 is equal to i ref or uh, if you want to obtain a uh, current transfer ratio other than, so now here i can write this says that i0 by i ref which is the current transfer ratio here is unity but if you want to achieve some other current transfer ratio uh, say some other value m what we can do is we can simply arrange the area of emitter base junction of q2 as uh, say some um, uh, x times uh, that of q1 so that i can write i0 as x times that of i ref so i can make the area of q2 um, correspondingly and uh, so one thing you can observe here is yeah, both uh, emitters are shorter together and uh, there is a VBE here VBE now <clears throat> uh, now we uh, just look at the circuit in a more detailed way so that we can obtain uh, so what we uh, analyzed here is if the beta is very large in the case if the there is no if the beta is finite uh, sorry infinite i can say i naught is equal to i ref but if it is if that is not the case uh, we'll see what will happen here so uh, if you look at the uh, currents here <clears throat> uh, say i can mark this current uh, so this is i naught current so i can mark this base current as say i naught by beta and and this current as yeah, uh, instead of that i'll just uh, call this as this is the collector current right so this is base current base current is basically collector current by beta similarly uh, i am assuming both transistors are matched with the same vb so even this current i can consider as ic so that this current is actually ic by beta so this is IC, the both are base current so that the current flowing here, there, there is a current here compared to MOSFET there is a current here because uh, this is BJT. So this is nothing but uh, 2IC by beta that is this current. Now 2IC by beta is flowing here and uh, IC is flowing there so I can write IREF as IC plus 2IC by beta or i can write this as ic into 1 plus 2 by beta that is your i ref and i am uh, i assumed ic uh, i naught so if i write in terms of i naught i ref equal to i naught into 1 plus 2 by beta or uh, if you write the current transfer ratio whether i naught by i ref or the ultra so i can write i naught as i ref by 1 plus 2 by beta now uh, if i consider beta as infinity if beta is infinity i can say i naught is equal to i ref but practically beta is not infinite it is finite or uh, if you say beta is equal to 100 i can write i naught as i ref divided by 1 plus 2 by 100 uh, that may introduce say some 2 percentage error in uh, the current so basically what i want here is i naught is equal to i ref and that is possible only if your beta is infinity so depending on the finite beta this will introduce some error in the current transfer ratio right so that is a, a basic uh, bjt based current mirror and what we obtain here is current transfer ratio which is uh, so i can write i naught by i ref as 1 by 1 plus 2 by beta right so what we discussed in this lecture is we started with the basic MOSFET based current mirror for a current source uh, output resistance should be very high and with respect to current mirror the accuracy of current transfer ratio also matters uh, so in a MOSFET based circuit the current transfer ratio I defined as I0 by IRF and that purely depends on the aspect ratio of two transistors and this discussion is when a lambda is equal to zero uh, now when I uh, when I look at BJT based current mirror circuit there are uh, basically there are two differences between MOSFET and BJT based current mirror the first thing is uh, BJT input base current is not zero it, there is a finite current that leads to a finite beta uh, 
so there will be some error in current transfer ratio that we have seen here the second thing is the current transfer ratio in the case of mosfet that depends on uh, the size of the uh, aspect ratio ratio of as uh, size of the um, mosfets that is w by l of 2 by w by l of 1 but in the case of bjd that depends on the relative areas of emitter base junction of transistors so if i look at the basic circuit uh, i can uh, ideally i can say i0 is equal to ira for the current transfer ratio is 1 if i want to get a current transfer ratio uh, not unity i can arrange the um, junction area of q2 in such a way that i can get i0 equal to x times ira so by analyzing uh, by looking at the circuit uh, the output current is i0 and that is a collector current so if i want to write base current it is ic by beta if both transistors are matched with the same vb even the this base also will take um, ic by beta so that the total current here is 2 ic by beta so that irf i can write it as ic plus 2 ic by beta that will give you a current transfer ratio i0 by rf as 1 by 1 plus 2 by beta and if uh, the current transfer ratio will be unity or it is accurate only when you have a large beta or beta is equal to infinity otherwise depending on the finite beta there is a small error in current transfer ratio and even that you can calculate here so in next lecture we'll discuss some other versions of this uh, bjt based current mirror thank you